on at the Canadian Mint uh, Museum and it's pretty interesting. We couldn't take any photos or videos inside the museum, so not really much I could do there. But uh, what we saw, how they pretty much made the coins, uh, all the different designs, and got some gifts at the gift shop. And we had a really nice time. It was really nice and enjoyable and not as much stuff to see, but it was worth it. It's free, so can't argue with that. All right, so the next stop that we're heading out to is Fort Wyatt Live. And it's basically a trail slash nature park. We're probably gonna go see some bisons and uh, just walk around the trail and see what it's like this time in the summer. Last time we went in 2020 and it was pretty nice because it was kind of like snowy. The trails were nice and uh, peaceful. So this time with the lake and everything, we'll see how it is. into the ground a bit, mm -hmm. so it's cool in the winter, summer. The summertime, yeah. And it's a little warm, easy to heat in the winter because, you know, in the ground. Mm -hmm. So that was the advantages of it. Um, it says 500 years ago, Native Americans um, used to live here in the prairie. This is a demonstration of just kind of reminding uh, what this land purpose was. Our ancestors, our Native Americans were here and this is part of their home. So this is a, a monument to remind our Native Americans were here. They call it the plain, uh, plains. That's where the bisons are hunt and um, live. So, about 5,000 years ago, the natives uh, used to hunt here in these plains. But, um, in, I believe in the 1800s, the bison almost went extinct. So, we just got done at Fort Wyatt. And Amla is just chilling in the back from a long walk and Bree's tired a little bit. So we're hungry, a little thirsty, so we're gonna go grab some refreshment and food. And after that, we go back home, grab our stuff, and head to the Thermia Spa. Thermia is a very interesting place and a very relaxing place. Yeah, so this is like Continue. this is like our last full good. day in Winnipeg and we're just gonna enjoy, relax, you know? We had about three to four long days, and I think we had some fun, right guys? Yes. We had fun, nice vacation, just small vacation uh, up north, and it was fun. It's very, uh, a lot of walking and a lot of uh, just touring and gets, you know, getting all that information in, learning, all that stuff, so it's, it's good. It's, it's productive, we do productive things, you know, we don't sit at home and just, you know, do nothing. Please like and subscribe below. Alright guys, so we just got done eating at the Golden Elephant Vietnamese Thai restaurant. I'd say it was pretty good food. That's good. I like it. Solid. Mm 
Vietnamese like Thai food. A laksa chicken and I think I believe it's like a Southeast Asian curry dish kind of thing. Kind of looks like kapon which is like a Thai mung dish. Uh, the chicken wing was really good. It reminded me of uh, a Vietnamese style uh, chicken wing where it was like kind of sauced up bread. Uh, a little sweet barbecue style. Kind of like a kom tam. Kom tam is like the rice uh, and barbecue uh, meat which they season similar to that. It also has some pho. The pho looks pretty good. It looked pretty good and it tasted pretty well too. I won't say it was like, you know, something wow, but it was okay enough. And Brie, what do you think about I the pho? the pho? It was good. Not, not like how I would uh, like it to be, but yeah. it's good. It didn't have like that that taste of the broth where it feels like it's been cooked the whole day, all night kind of thing. So, and we're ready to go to Thermia, which we've been waiting for a while now. And it's gonna be pretty fun. I mean, I think we're, getting, we're gonna chill there for like three, four hours. Only bad thing is you just can't record in there. I'll try with phone, but with my camera, I can't. Also, I don't wanna get my camera wet. And a lot of construction here we noticed in Winnipeg. I don't know if they like just do a lot of construction and never gets done or it's just every year it's like kind of like what we have in the Twin Cities probably maybe. But construction's going on everywhere in the south side and some in the west side. In downtown it looks everything looks like pretty solid. There's not really much construction going on. If you look at the south side of Winnipeg, as soon as you get to Winnipeg, it's the south you see oh, there's a lot of Asian restaurants, stores, like very diverse in terms of like the neighborhood when you enter. So it's really cool to experience that when you get into Turn Winnipeg. Left. I'm not, I guess, ate so much that she's almost falling asleep. So Thermia not only just offers swimming, but they have a place where you can relax and chill by the bonfire or you can go into the sauna. If you're not feeling the water right away, you can, you know, you just ate something, you're not feeling the right water right away, you can just go to those kind of places and just relax first, let it digest, and then, <laughs> boom, you can go into the water. Digest the nice thing is, you can stay there the whole day. There's no limit, so you get a whole day's admission. There's no time limit. That's the nice thing about it. It costs about 74 or 72 Canadian dollars, so that's like 50 some dollars. We are right. It's not bad. Not are we ready to go? Yes. Are we ready to go? Yes. got done bathing at Thermia. We're back at our uh, Airbnb. It was a really nice experience. I'm very relaxed. I'm lying breathe very relaxed, I believe. So whatever we showed you is the images we could uh, use because I was kind of sneakingly taking videos, but uh, it was really cool. You, the only thing I didn't really take videos of is all the, I mean, there's a lot more. There's like a couple of sun. Oh shit, mosquitoes is pretty bad. Um, it was very relaxing. Um, we really enjoyed it. Me and Amala um, tried dipping ourselves into the cold water and then uh, I'm very proud of Amala for doing that. <laughs> she did it! Good job, Mama! Yeah! Yeah! Mm -hmm. <laughs> very good! Very huh? good! Very good! Very good! Everything is good. We are having fun. So we were there about four to five hours, but it felt like we needed to be there longer because the time really uh, passed by really fast and we wanted to you know spend maybe an hour or two more So next time if we do go to Thermia, we are definitely gonna go there like probably 2 p.m. And spend the whole day there. I mean It's a really nice experience 
very relaxing that cold ice cold water was really nice there's a waterfall that has the cold water so you, what i what i did strategically is to get used to that cold water was to go to the waterfall get that cold splash right there get used to that cold water and then go down and dip into the cold water and then i was there for maybe like five six minutes i was surprised that i was there for that long it's pretty it's pretty cold like it feels really cold and not a lot of people like to go there because it's so cold but i i think it's really good for your body when you go from really cold water almost like ice water to uh really hot water that's like 120 130 degrees or more and then also the saunas were amazing the facilities were great i mean they had like tea like lemon tea and like uh what you might call it like ginger and all that stuff and uh, uh lemon water all that stuff and it's really nice you can just keep refilling when you book with them they give you a towel in the robe in your locker room they give you one of these like wristbands kind of like what they have in icing where you can just tap in to your locker and then it opens up and then you can just lock it by pushing it in it's totally worth the price i would say because you don't really get this type of experience in even other like a, not a lot of places in in north america i would say and if you're ever in winnipeg i would say you should definitely try out this place it's totally worth it and it's one of the best things to do in the area it's kind of hard to I wish we had this back in Minneapolis and in other states close by, but we just don't have it, that experience. And the facility is kept so clean and everything, it's just solid. There was a lot of people there, it's always booked out, they said usually, so that's why you had to reserve. The craziest thing is you, when it was getting towards the nighttime, the sun was setting, you look around, you look up, and like you see the lights come on and everything, and then the, and then the sky just you know starts to dim with that orange and like red hue. It's just really beautiful. So, really enjoyed it. The aesthetics were great. Amla and Bree said she's, they're gonna cook up something for lunch tomorrow, like chicken that we bought and stuff, air fried. Might eat some tonight, who knows? <laughs> we're hungry, but uh, we're really relaxed now. And this is our last night in Winnipeg. We really enjoyed our stay here for the last three, four days. Um, if you guys like what we did here for the last three or four days or you like our videos, hit the subscribe button, you already know, and uh, give us a like, you know. It goes a long way with helping out, uh, with helping us out in our, in our journey, our excursion throughout our years together. If you guys like more of Amla in our video, let us know because she might tag along everywhere with us, you know. It's going to be called the Excursion Musketeers or something. You know, we might be called that. You know, the Three Excursion Musketeers. Let us know if you guys are a fan of Amala. Yeah. <laughs> now time to go tomorrow. We yep. are leaving tomorrow. Back to the States. Having fun. <laughs> hey, everybody. Thank you for joining in on our last day at Winnipeg. We hope you enjoyed the trip with us. And we hope to see you soon. Stay tuned, we will be in Thailand next. That's gonna be a fun one. See you soon.